Action next. Yes, time. it is. Yes, sir. Okay. So now, anyway, let's, yeah, Niners, let's skip Panthers. Mm. Let's skip the rest of the form. This is a team we don't really know too too much about. I'm not going to be betting them at least. But now, Tony, do you hear that? What's that sound? I didn't. Is it the sound of a can being? No, it's the sound of a thundering. Herd, indeed. Oh, that's very good. I like that. Yes, yes, indeed. Now, so look at these. So Marshall. I think is by far the best team in this division if they have a division. Um, so originally, their quarterback, Isaiah Green, um, put himself in the transfer portal. And I don't know what they did, but he's coming back for this year. So their leading rusher, their leading receiver, and the QB are all returning. Same coach. Mm-hmm. Love this type of continuity, especially in a division. Within Conference USA and Conference USA, broadly speaking, um, which is kind of having going to have really a down year because of the lack of consistency year over year. Um, look, look, look at this. I, I got some really fun stats here. Okay. So in conference games, Marshall hits the over eighty four and a half percent of the time in conference games. Just remarkable since 2016. I do all this since 2016. Okay? Interesting. As, Go on, yeah. Uh-huh. As a home favorite in conference, not what you like to see. They are ATS only 26.3% of the time. As an away dog, we're going back on the upside here. They are... ATS as an away dog. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Doc Holliday had a hell of a coach. Okay. So, in, again, the non conference games, 84.2% overs with Marshall. What is Marshall's second game of the year this year? It is at ECU in Greenville. North Carolina. Now, the ECU Pirates are a terrible team against the spread historically. They have one of the worst performances since 2016 in almost any spot. I think they're like a bottom three, bottom four squad. Um, They are returning a stud QB, Holden Ehlers, um, who put up a lot of yards last year, but their defense just could not uh, stick in it. Uh, in any, almost any of the matches last year. Marshall with his returning continuity on offense and East Carolina with his returning continuity on offense, this is going to be a huge overspot for me. Saturday, September 12th, Tony. Keep your eyes peeled. And moreover, if they're, if they're 81.8% as an away dog, I, I'm going to have to back them. If, if ECU historically is a bottom-tier ATS team, I'm thinking the over for this game, Saturday, September 12th, at ECU, and for the Thundering Herd to cover. This is a huge spot for me. I love this matchup. I'm so thrilled for this to happen. Um, I mean, I... I didn't realize that Marshall wouldn't be able to get off the field. I expect Doc Holliday's team to have a good defense this season. Like, I mean, I guess they don't return a lot of production, but but they actually bring in guys who are better than the guys last year. So, like, like basically, I am I'm, I'm going to go off of the scouts telling me this JUCO class is actually legit. Like. So basically, Doc brought in a bunch of transfers here, like, and I feel like they can play, and that offense is definitely going to play. Like the offense brings in, yeah, all the continuity, like we said, like they're going to play. Like I feel like Marshall's just going to go and beat the Pirates. Yeah, they very easily could, but they are going to be a dog, and that's what I'm saying. That both the over is at okay, play, I got you. both the over is at play in this game, and backing the Thundering Herd coming into Greenville. I, you know what? Like, yeah. Heard in the over. I love it. Also, you know, Doc Holiday has won his last seven week ones. Ooh, well, they're playing uh, 
Oh, this was week two, though. Yeah, they're Open playing Burgers. Eastern Kentucky Colonels. So hopefully, wow. uh, hopefully they win oh, that game. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Okay, um, no, we're not going to count that. Yeah, at the, home in Huntington. Hopefully, hopefully they win that game. So with within the conference, um, we haven't talked about the other part of the uh, the conference, the other division. But they play the Owls. Then they got to go to Bowling Green to play the Hilltoppers. Law Tech at home. FAU at home. Panthers at home, Blue Raiders at home, and the 49ers at home. They have a lot of home games. I think that this is the only real challenge here is at Western Kentucky. Everything else is basically should be leaning towards Marshall, right? Why not? Basically, like they got, yeah, I think they've got the talent to contend. Um, I mean, and they, I guess they could edge out mid, Middle Tennessee. Like I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't sell them short. They're definite contender. Yeah, well, I mean, with, what um, do you mean contender with with all those three um, key parts of the offense returning? Of course, they, they you you should wait. Uh, you should be like riding their future over Middle Tennessee. I think you're right. Middle Tennessee might like surprise us in a few spots, but overall, Western Marshall. I mean, Marshall. Excuse me, is a holistically just a better program in the preseason. Mm. Mm, I mean, yeah, right. Yeah. Middle Tennessee has more of a stars and scrubs feel mm-hmm. like, cause they're, cause the linebackers are supposed to be, you know, a sort of marshmallowy core that you can bite into. Um. Right. Like, so like, and Marshall is more of a balanced team. I mean, I do. I've always liked a guy who calls himself Doc Holliday. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, all this, yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess we like the herd. We can we basically like the goddamn herd. We like the herd. And okay, yeah. so what did I say? All they right. were plus six hundred to win the conference. So once lines come out, that's that's going to be a juicy little bet right there, as far as I'm concerned. Hell yeah. Um, all okay. Right. Let's can, let yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about the other the West. division, quote unquote. Yeah, the West here. Let's talk about the Blazers. Oof. Because um, Oof. because so because they are they are favored. They are favored. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. But but they're in a new role, right? Because this team previously. 